Hey guys, it's David from mdbootstrap.com and in this video I'm gonna show you top 10 extensions for Visual Studio Code which every web developer should know. Before we start, if you don't want to miss more videos like that, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notification. Now let's get started. So Visual Studio Code has this amazing feature called Marketplace, although it's interesting because I never seen any paid extension there. But anyway, Visual Studio Code Marketplace allows us to install extension which makes our life much easier. So in order to install an extension, simply open extension tab. So you can do it either by clicking on this icon or just press Ctrl Shift X shortcut then search for an extension and simply click install as simple as that number one live server if i could choose only one single extension for my visual studio code that most probably it would be a live server so if you are bored with refreshing your website every time you are making even a tiny change to your project this will turn your web development live upside down so what it does it runs a tiny server for you which you can run simply by clicking open with live server which will open your website your project in your default browser and every time you make a change to your project let's say i'm gonna add new here and save the file it will refresh it automatically in our browser Second very important argument for using it is that Ajax requests don't work with the file protocol. So if you open your page just in your file explorer, it will use this file protocol and Ajax calls won't be available for you. So thanks to using it, we are using a proper HTTP protocol. It can even support HTTPS. Uh, so your server and site can fetch content through JavaScript. Number two, Prettier. Formatting code might be a pain in the ass, but it definitely doesn't have to. With this amazing extension, you can format your code with the single command, and it will take care about all the spacing, indents, quotes, etc. So just look at this messy uh, piece of code over here. So we have some HTML here which doesn't have indents and they're messy, some comments. We also have a piece of JavaScript here. So as you can see, there is like a space before, but not after. There are some semicolons missing and this um, and this for is doesn't also have a new line and so on. So with a single command, just by pressing Ctrl Shift P and then searching for format document, I can or actually this extension will take care of that of everything so as you can see it will indent all the code nicely format all the comments for us and also fix all the issues here so it changed the spacing it added missing um, semicolon and even added new lines what is even more awesome about it is that you can format your code on save which means that you will never commit unformatted code as before saving the file, Prettier will format it for you. So let me just revert this change to the messy code. Now I'm gonna save the file. So I'm gonna click File, Save, and Prettier will take care of the code on my behalf. And obviously, you never copy a whole solution from Stack Overflow. But let's say that you copy some piece of code from a documentation, then Prettier it will also take care of code pasted in that way. Now have a look at this example. I have this piece of nasty code here. I'm gonna copy it. And now, once I'm gonna paste it again, it will automatically format it for me. Number three, better comments. It is said that there are only two kinds of developers. Those which use comments and those which don't. And if you are in the first group, you probably know that comments can be very helpful. Sometimes they might be messy, sometimes they might get outdated, but did you know that they can be colorful? Well, at least if you use this extension. With this extension, you will be able to categorize your annotation into alerts, queries, to-dos, highlights, 
and you will be able to comment your comments. Yes, I just said it. Comment out your comments. Let's have a look. So if you have comments like this, you can easily add some colors to it as simply as that. So if I'm going to add some star, it will highlight the important message. Uh, if you add the explanation mark, it will set deprecated. Then you can even ask questions in your comment, easily define places where you should get back and do something. You can bind your parameters with your code. And as I said, you can even indicate that this comment is unnecessary and it shouldn't be there. So you just simply comment your comments or someone else comments out. Number four is bracket per colorizer. Sometimes logic or data structure which you implement may be a quite complex and require a few level of indents. If this is case for you, you will probably love this extension. It does a tiny but a very useful thing. It color your brackets per separately so you can easily find a corresponding closing bracket. So if you ever work with like huge JSONs or other um, complex structure like this one, you're gonna love it. You can see it's showing you nicely which code, which block of code is included inside this corresponding bracket pair. Number five, ES6 code snippets. Do you know that you can define your own snippets in Visual Studio Code? Let me show you mine for console log. So instead of typing console.log every time and sometimes making mistake, what I did oh, like this, I what I did, I just created a new snippet for it. So now every time I'm typing log and pressing tab key, it will create the snippet for me. So you can define your own snippets here in Visual Studio Code. But what you can also do is to install snippet created by others. So ES6 snippets comes with many predefined, very useful snippets in different aspects. Like you have snippets for imports, variables, loops and many many other custom snippets so i strongly encourage you to go and check website of this extension and see what kind of snippets are there for you and if you're gonna find there some snippets for code which you often use then definitely you're gonna love it and in case you don't you can create your own snippet like i did with the console log number six es lint linter is a tool that analyzes source code to flag programming errors bugs stylistic errors and suspicious constructs the extension use ES library installed in the open workspace folder so you have either installed it inside your project via npm or install it globally on your computer so what this extension does it actually shows you linter errors in a nice way in this problem tab so you can define your own settings for linter or use predefined ones which are shared by other developers like this Airbnb JavaScript style guide, which basically provide you a set of rules and don't get it wrong. For example, it doesn't mean that if you are writing code in that way is a really wrong, it's just like assumption. So developers assume that this is a better way for some reason and they agreed to use this in that matter. So if you want to learn more about linters itself, please check the description down below where you'll find the link to another tutorial dedicated to it. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on notification. This way you never miss any new tutorial regarding tools like linter. And as I mentioned, there are multiple settings you can set using linter but it's perfectly fine to start with the default one like unused variables. So if you look here, we have two variables and we have two errors in our problem tabs, which says that both of the variables 
um, are assigned to a value but they are never used so obviously as soon as we use it the warning will disappear number seven is a uh, git lens if you work with git repositories then this extension is definitely for you it allows you to browse the entire history without leaving Visual Studio Code window. So you can check who made a given change down to a single line. So you can check that this line was done by Bartek while this one was done by user Martuski. And you can see all this name over here. You can see um, entire history of the file and see which uh, commits uh, it consists of, so as you can see, we have a mix of different commits here. You can obviously check the history of the file. You can blame commit. You can go to, um, in this case, to a GitHub repository, GitHub page. So basically, you can do anything you've been doing so far using Git command line. So if you are working with Git repositories, with your friends, with your colleagues from work. This is definitely must have for you. Number eight, CSS Peak. Another great extension for front-end developers allows us to easily check details of a given CSS class in a blink of the eye. So what we have to do is just to press Ctrl and click on a given class name and it will show us its definition all the properties and also allows us to easily jump into the file which contain this CSS class definition. Number nine, code spell checker. Sometimes back I ask you on a Twitter what are the most common typos which you make while coding and I've got dozens of different answers. So if you want to avoid typing again tour instead of true or container instead of container this extension is for you what it does it simply highlight all the mistakes and allows us quickly to fix it by pressing ctrl and the dot key to suggest us a proper name like container instead of constainer and number 10 material team so the last one isn't actually an extension but team however i really love it and many times you ask me why my vsc looks different than yours so this is actually a team which changes how vs code looks like what it also does it adds a support for many languages in terms of coloring syntax provide you file and folder icons so you could faster find your files you are looking for and many many more and obviously we as a mdb team we are a big fan of material design even when it comes to vsc design so if you want to try it just go to extension and search for material team and you will be able to install it with just a single click. Okay, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it was useful for you and you're gonna find all this extension very, very handy in your web development journey. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel down below, turn on notification. There are just top 10 extension, but there are more fantastic extension. So let's make a deal. If this video hits 50,000 views, I'm gonna create a follow-up video with next 10 amazing extensions for developers which I use on a daily basis. And once we reach 100,000 views, I'm gonna create a new one, this time including extension not only for the front-end developers, but also for a full stack. So, deal? So these were my top 10 extensions for Visual Studio Code. And what are yours? Let me know in the comments.